Hey folks, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. I'm taping this the day before Thanksgiving, whether it airs, I'm sorry, two days before Thanksgiving, where, whether it airs then or the following, I don't know. But in any case, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, fantastic holiday. Christmas, uh, it's great, but it's busy. You get the gifts and the shop and all that kind of stuff. Thanksgiving, meal with your family, and, uh, and just being thankful. It's a fantastic holiday just to be thankful to God for all he's done for us. And it is an attitude that we really need to preserve as much as we possibly can. In fact, um, in the book of Colossians, Colossians chapter 2, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Colossians 4 verse 2, um, the instruction is devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Uh, very interesting. We kind of get, yes, we need to pray. Yes, we need to be watching what's going on, watch the attacks of the enemies in our own lives and the people around us, uh, but be thankful. It is uh, an instruction, a command almost here. Um, that attitude of gratitude, to have that continually is so important. Um, appreciating what we have. Um, and it's, it's one thing to appreciate things and be thankful for them. And we can do that. Um, you know, we get a gift. We, um, we uh, just appreciate our home, our family, whatever it is. But to know that there is an author of those gifts and that it is the Lord that provides these things for us, that makes it all even better. Um, but just spending our lives each day being thankful for everything he's done for us, and even being thankful for the people around us and thanking them, whether it's the server at the restaurant or the guy that worked on your car, your wife, your husband, your children, always appreciating the things that they do for us as well. There's a difference um, if we go and we've done something ourselves. Let's say we've mowed our grass, we put a roof on, we worked all week, whatever it is. And there's an appreciation for what we have done. There's a sense of accomplishment. Why I've cut that grass. I feel so good. I've got that done. And that's okay. That's fine. But it could lead to a pride as well. Sometimes we get a little bit too caught up in all we've done. And we're only, we only have that, that accomplishment towards ourselves. But thankfulness, that gratitude is an acknowledgement that it has come from someone else. It's an outside source that has provided you these things. And that's real special. Um, just to be aware that you're the recipient of something. And even in these things that we accomplish, we need to be aware that, sure, you cut the grass. But who provided that nice lawnmower? Who's giving you the strength in your legs to push that thing? Who's giving you the wisdom and the mindset to perform your job? These are all good things that come from God. So even in things that we feel we've accomplished, we know that it is our Lord that has provided uh, even the ability for us to do these things. And always being thankful. It is such a wonderful attitude uh, to have. And that is what the Lord desires of us. In uh, the book of Psalm 106, verse 1, it says, Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good and his love endures forever. Boy, if that doesn't sum him up. He has many attributes, folks. And um, if we're serving him just because he's powerful or because he's the ultimate judge, we really need to understand that he is good and serving a good God makes us thankful. We are thankful every day for everything he does for us. And that is something as we're thankful, as we appreciate him, he is glorified in our lives just because we're thankful. It is a blessed, blessed thing. I want to read you... Uh, a quote from C.S. Lewis, <clears throat> actually two quotes, but um, C.S. Lewis says, gratitude looks to the past 
and love to the present, fear, avarice, lust, and ambition look ahead. You think about that. Things that we're afraid of, we're afraid of what might happen down the road. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna lose my job, I'm gonna get COVID, uh, this person's gonna get mad at me. Fear is always something's gonna happen. Ambition is always in the future. I'm going to get that job. I'm going to climb that mountain. I'm going to earn that paycheck. I'm going to buy that big house. Uh, all these things are in the future. Love is satisfied just living in the present, knowing that we are dearly loved and that we are loving others. But gratitude, thankfulness looks to the past and is satisfied and happy with these things that have already taken place, how the Lord has provided and cared for us, um, how he's loved us, how we've been able to love other people. It's something you're, you're gracious and glad for something that's already happened, not having to struggle or fight for it down the road. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, C.S. Lewis also said, we ought to give thanks for all fortune if it is good because it is good. If it is bad because it works in us, uh, patience, humility, and contempt of this world and the hope of an eternal country. Amen. That's why the say, we say is in the scriptures, uh, in all things we give thanks. We don't necessarily have to be thankful for the toothache or the flat tire uh, or all these, you know, uh, all these things that happen but we're thankful to God despite them, even though he allows these things in our lives because He know, we know that he is using these things to build up a patience and an awareness and an appreciation for the fact that this world can just flat out stink a lot of the times. And despite that, we look forward to an eternity with our Lord where time with him and under his kingdom it will be wonderful. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving again. Uh, God bless you guys and have a good night.